Hi everybody, how's it going? We're here with a timeless reading, welcome. The first card that we have out is Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles and Five of Cups. Okay, so something that I'm noticing before Five of Cups came out, we just have Five of Pentacles. Something that I'm noticing with the Five of Pentacles, the first thing was the flower that's wilting. And when I'm thinking about the flower wilting, I'm thinking about something like not, not being nourished and it wilting because of that, but then, in looking at it close more closely it almost looks like there's water falling behind it and like if you see a flower wilting like generally it's because it's like it needs water but if the water is there the wilting is happening for another reason so i wonder if there's just something that's going on that feels like there's a a wilting that's happening but it's not for lack of needs being met I don't think maybe it's for another reason like the wilting is still happening sure but it's not because the what the flower isn't being watered it's for some other purpose and also too is something that's coming to mind the more that I'm looking at this as well is that leaf well the petal that's falling off of here this can be like more of a shedding or like a changing of seasons actually that's happening like the function of this it's meant to be wilting because there's a transition that's taking place like maybe this is even something that you feel in a way like it's dying out but not because something's wrong with the situation it's like actually that's what's meant to be happening and then having this five of cups can be like maybe you don't want it to be like that it, you can be feeling sad about it and simultaneously it can feel like it's not like something that's needed in the environment isn't there. This is just maybe part of the process that this is actually meant to be happening. But it can be something that you're having a hard time coming to terms with. That means too, like if you see this as being your flower, it's not like you weren't taking care of it or something like that. It's you are taking care of it. You have the, the water there. It's, it's like something is, the wilting is happening for another reason. And so this can even be something that feels kind of out of your control. And that can be another reason why you may be having a hard time letting go here. Because maybe you're like, I'm giving it everything it needs. What's wrong with it? Like, why does it still look like it's dying? And maybe it's just supposed to be doing that right now. Or it's wilting or there's a shedding that's happening or there's a, a shift or a changing that's happening. And you can be like, I'm giving it all it needs. Why is it doing that anyway? And it's just because that's its nature. But you can feel unhappy with this. I'm seeing Ten of Cups wanting to pop out. This can mean a, a big shift or a big turnaround. Emotionally. There's a song that's coming through. I have heard it so many times because it is the song that in Russian Doll, the one with Natasha Leone, it's the song that plays like every time she's like reborn into that moment. It's like, gotta get up, gotta something, gotta keep moving, something like that. What song is this? That came through so strongly. It's called Gotta Get Up. It's by Harry Nilsson. Yeah, that's the song that's coming through.
I feel like this is one of those times where you sort of know what needs to be done but you can be having a hard time because you're feeling like emotional resistance to sort of accepting because there can be attachment there can be like why does it have to be like this i didn't want this to be happening right now and it can also feel i'm getting confirmation of this and it can also feel too like This is one of those moments where it can feel unsettling because you see that your ego doesn't get to have control over everything. And so in in the place that you rest within the the part of your soul that is more deeply sat within you, that part of you is fine with this and with what's going on, but the part of you that sort of attached to things as they as you want them to be rather than as they are that part of you can be struggling a bit right now and that's also okay it we can know where something comes from and still need to go through that process of like allow yourself to feel how you're feeling about what's going on right now five of pentacles is sort of this like <laughs> The situation that we find ourselves in and we can want it to be other we can want it to be different or for some of you this can be something from the past still that's still being held on to where something happened in the way that it did and you may still not be over it yet you can still be telling yourself like it should have been like this it should have been like that it, it shouldn't have happened that way and there can still be a like I haven't fully processed this how you'll know you haven't fully processed something is because you're not in a state of acceptance about it so there will still be that like trying to reconfigure it in your mind every way other than how it actually went and so there will still be that sort of mental tangibility to something that not something that was not that attachment to something that was not which is like attempting to sort of bypass the way that something was the way that something is a resistance to accepting that because it can be something that we don't we didn't prefer in that situation having a hard time coming to terms with that and then also too when we have that eight of cups is going to be the acknowledgement of needing to move on but then and knowing that like technically in my head like rationally i know what happened but emotionally that part hasn't really caught up yet and there's a part of me that if i'm still telling myself it should have been this it should have been that if i'm still resisting accepting it means that i don't have to accept the situation for what it was and that means that i can still sort of stay there and this is my way of still holding on to it so that's what the that's how the not accepting benefits by not moving on and so part of you can feel like you're being benefited by that by sort of not having to venture out past that but then there can be another part of you that's saying is this where we're going to stay are we going to stay here this whole time we're not going to move on from this and then just all of the feelings that sort of come from that and you can feel like you're feeling a bit depleted because of this as well you can feel a bit drained because of this there can just be this part of you that really is feeling a bit um i think in recovery more than anything it can be something where you feel like i'm not ready to face the present moment because that means that i need to sort of come back online in a way that I'm having a hard time being present to. Because with the Eight of Cups, it's that part of you that says, this isn't working, or I didn't find what I was looking for here, this didn't meet my expectations, and so this means that I'm meant to keep going to sort of find that fulfillment, that connection that I'm looking for. But if you're not accepting that something wasn't what you wanted it to be in the first place, it's, it keeps you still able to rationalize holding on to that and not having to move on and not having to move forward. So even though the you that's in the future that's moved on from this can be like, I'm so happy that I'm here now in the future, the part of you that's presently going through this could just be having a tough time going through that part of the process and is still holding on. Which can also be confusing too because you're like if something was so hurtful or so disappointing or so not what I wanted it to be or not what I preferred, why would I be holding on to it? So it can be kind of confusing going through that process but you can also simultaneously feel like you're saving yourself from having to go through another situation that would be like this. So there's actually this belief that this may be keeping you safe 
And that's where this can come from. But you can also feel drained by this as well. Can it feel all around heavy? This is the challenge. Moving on, moving forward. When I say move on, I don't mean being like, okay, that's that, and just walking away without processing. Like, moving on, a prerequisite to moving on is gonna be processing this. So like that has to happen before there can actually be a moving forward. Cause it's, it's less like moving on and more just like continuing on with your storyline rather than keeping it stuck here. And then everything just, like the scene wasn't meant to end here and this is being dragged out a bit now. Like you can feel sort of that way thinking about this. Maybe when you get a bit further on, you can look at it, but maybe this is also just what you need for now and that can be okay. Ultimately, I think this comes back to accepting something as it is, as it was. And I do feel again, like this was one of those situations where I think like you only had so much control over what was going on and you did what you needed to do, but that didn't allow whatever it was to sort of thrive or turn out as you would have preferred. Something about that theme being important here, because it's not like it's on your end, but you still have to sort of deal with this process. So it can mean like, it's not like you weren't watering the plant, you were, but it like died anyway for some reason. Like something happened anyway for some reason. And so there can be stuff about blame, there can be like that type of stuff that's coming up. The like, I did everything that I could, but it still didn't work out. And sort of the accepting of that as well. And then the feeling like you want to move forward with a thing, but then you're going to have to get to a place where you're like admitting to what it was if you want to move through this. And you can just be having a really hard time with that part of things. That part of you that feels very, very resistant to the truth of this, to the reality of this, can be having a hard time. And until you're willing to admit to that, you're going to stay here because you like that's a it's a necessary thing in order for you to move forward you have to sort of reconcile with the truth here and ultimately is your choice like this change will not be forced upon you you really can stay here as long as you want Feel made me a little bit scared of moving forward as well. So what lies ahead, what I'm seeing is actually, I feel like the situation that you wanted all along is like right in front of you, but let me use an example to say this. Let's say that you got in a relationship with somebody and you did everything that you could and it still didn't work out the way that you wanted it to. And there can be a part of you that feels like it should have been like this, it should have been like that. Or still trying to like prove yourself or prove something, like anything other, like doing, doing the most, doing anything and everything other than accepting how things turned out. Even though you can know too, like it wasn't your fault, 
not that this needs to be a fault thing, but you can know like you did everything you can simultaneously you can just feel like you've really had hopes and not only that you had hopes because there's not an issue with having hopes it's the attachment to it has to go like this otherwise unacceptable and so that holding on to things is what doesn't allow us to move forward because you can have expectations of stuff but if something doesn't meet the expectation, the ability to be flexible then is what allows us to adapt. And you can feel like that's where the inflexibility is. And that there's like a continuation of like your energy moving forward, but then you keep coming back into this just to look at it and see like, oh yeah, still like wasn't what I needed it to be. And then you try to move forward and then you're like, oh wait, I should go back and check it again. And it's like, nope, still... It still wasn't what I needed it to be. And it, I feel like you keep going in, in this circle that's happening. And then the there's a recognition of what took place, your emotions about what took place, but not fully processing them. Then feeling like I didn't get what I needed here or this does not meet my needs. There is a lack of fulfillment. There's a lack of connection. There's a lack of what I'm looking for on an internal, emotional, spiritual level that really bums me out i need to like move forward but then the wait am i really sure that it wasn't like that and then like repeating the whole cycle again and again so i'm just seeing this loop that keeps happening what i'm seeing though is that if you move forward because we have six of swords and we have nine of wands and so what that means is that you making sense of this and you accepting this will be the thing that gives you permission to move on, to move forward, even though this can feel like a big block, but what you're actually blocking yourself off from is a relationship where you will find that reciprocity and alignment with your values. So basically, because you were in one situation that did not live up to your expectations and your standards, staying there because of a lack of accepting that and also keeping yourself away from what would actually meet the requirements that you're looking for. Because I'm seeing the lovers and I'm seeing six of pentacles. So I'm seeing something that's in front of you that has, it's the type of relationship that you'd want. There's fulfillment within that. And there's also an alignment of values. but you not participating in that because of st your energy continuing to go back into like this vortex that is unresolved, that the door needs to be shut on, but still not coming to terms with it. And so that's why you're stuck in that loop. How you move forward from this is there has to be an acceptance and there has to be an understanding of things. It's the only way to move forward. But there can also be a fear that's holding you back where you're like, what if this situation repeats itself again? Even though with the lovers and the six of pentacles, I'm seeing a situation where this is like basically what you wanted that thing to be. This is that thing for you, but you're keeping yourself from that because of not giving this other thing up. That isn't even what you want in the first place. That you hoped that it would be, but it wasn't and then still not letting go of that. It's like they they brought out the wrong order for you and you're like, this was the wrong order. This wasn't what I wanted to eat. And then they're like, oh, okay, we'll, we'll bring out your right order. And they're coming and like, they're standing there with the right order for you. And you're still looking at the plate, like this wasn't what I wanted. And like not seeing that what you want is like right there. They just like need to swap it out. So this, I feel like obviously that really simplifies it and it makes it, I don't want it to be reductive when I say it like that, but basically that's what's going on energetically speaking. Like this is a big thing emotionally that you are working through and that's basically the gist of it. The thing about the plates, like the, what you intended when you ordered, the wrong order came out for the reasons that it did, but now the your right order is like ready for you to have. I'm seeing it be right here with the lovers and the six of pentacles. And like the, the plate that they brought out, it's starting to get cold. They're standing there and they have it for you, but there's like this fixation on the thing that went wrong. And because of not accepting it, like I can't believe they brought out the wrong order. Like I really wanted this other thing. 
why did they do that? Like calling people, I wanna to talk to the manager. It's like this whole thing where everything to just keep perpetuating this when the next order is up and you can just swap it out. Like it's really ready for it to happen. It can really be that seamless, but this like lack of willingness to process a lack of willingness to let go and ultimately a lack of willingness to align with the truth to align with the reality and that's what keeps you there and it's like that that five of pentacles is that feeling of the you got the wrong order the wrong order was being brought out as far as what you expected to be brought out and then six of we end with six of pentacles which is the right order coming out but you just blocking yourself from it. And this is an emotional block that I'm seeing here with the five of cups. This is emotional conflict. That's like a knot sitting within your chest that needs to be worked out. That needs to be like, you know how when you have a massage, like the stuff you do to sort of relax it, that's what needs to happen so you can move forward. You can see this as being a bit of a, whatever you wanna call it. It's something that's not allowing the, the new energy in that would really be like actually exactly what you're looking for. So you go from something that's like this, that's wilted to this, that looks like it's very much thriving and that you can get what you need from that. And what I'm seeing too is that by you fixating on this wrong order in front of you, it look, it very much seems like that right order is standing there, like the waiter is right there holding it and, and is just waiting for you to like hand over the wrong plate. But instead of doing that, but instead of doing that, this is the like, you could be participating in this, like you could switch out and get that that right plate that's coming through but this is like constantly like going back to the plate that's in front of you that's the wrong order and and messing around with it this is like like picking out the food and being like this wasn't what i ordered this wasn't what i ordered or like why did they bring out this instead it's like just this big fixation on that where it's like this is becoming more and more of a story, like more and more of a thing, like just more and more of something where it was like, what you were supposed to say is like, this is the wrong order and then you go to the next one. Well, I mean, it's your process, so there's not really any, you're supposed to do this or that. But in the grand scheme of things, you can sort of look at it and say like, the purpose of this was not meant to teach you. You'll never find what you're looking for. It's impossible for them to get your order right, anything like that. It's meant to say, oh, this teaches me more about my values, more about my expectations, more about my preferences with my order. I know that this is not it, but that is it. What that person is holding, what the waiter is holding over there. And so let them switch it out. Let it be switched out. And this is how you'll allow yourself to move forward then. You don't have to be stuck here by any means. But it does feel like that the waiter is standing there with the new plate and that there is a neglecting now that's happening of that new plate. And when we say it like that, you can be like, wow, I didn't even realize I was doing that. And then be like, of course, I'm going to switch it out. But it can be hard when you're like really zoomed in on what's in front of you. You're not looking like wide enough to see that the waiter is standing right there waiting to hand you the plate because of this hyper fixation that's happening because you're too zoomed in and it, the reason that it's so ironic is that you're zoomed in on something that you don't even want you're zoomed in on something that you don't even prefer like you can have something that you prefer right in front of you All right, my friends, we're gonna leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I am sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.